when I'm looking at alcohol labels, I think it's heading the same way as tobacco. It, it seems to be heading on that same trajectory. It's, it's heading on that same um, trajectory of both the governments getting involved in regulation and public perception as well, right? It's definitely following a path that's very similar to that of the alcohol companies, albeit at a, a different pace. Um, it's certainly uh, got different, you know, it's on a different timeline, I think. I don't think it's heading as quickly as it was with alcohol. I mean, my home country in Ireland at the minute is about to introduce alcohol labeling. And I just think it's a massive step forward. You know, it's, um, I'm all about education. I'm all about giving people the facts and making them or allowing them to make up their decisions, make up their minds, take the choice. Isn't it that what it's all about? You know, you taking the choice. So, you know, these warnings are gonna include the dangers of drinking alcohol while you're pregnant, uh, if you're a lady, obviously, um, the risk of liver cancer, liver disease, uh, other kinds of fatal cancers. Uh, the timeline is a bit weird. I think it's the 22nd of May, 2026. I don't know why. 22nd of May, I don't know. Maybe that's just the, the timeline. You know, Ireland does things in strange ways. We uh, introduced the smoking ban on the 1st of January. Can't remember the year now, but it was, um, that would have, uh, it went down really well, let's put it that. They tried to do the same thing in Scotland uh, and they had to shift it forward a few days because they were afraid of riots. I think they were afraid of something similar in Ireland, but didn't happen. I don't think it would have happened in Scotland either, to be honest. But there you go. But like I said, I think it's a good step forward. I think education is is the key here. You know, you educate people. You don't force people. I mean, we don't want angel dust to be legal, right? We don't want uh, the illegal drugs streaming into your country and killing uh, killing millions of people but you know that's the fact so I don't know it's a tough one it's a tough one I've got no answers when it comes to whether drugs should be made legal or not I think there's arguments on both sides of that um, I think certainly if if drugs were legal they'd be cleaner um, but you know uh, yeah there's the opposite side of that as well you know people are much more inclined towards the instant gratification mindset these days and um, the easy way out so yeah I don't know it's easy to get into these things and hard to get out of them uh, yeah take care anyway speak to you soon I'm going to put spine up